Darn it, that's how it is. When this guy, a drug lord known as El Chapo, is your boss, that's how it's gonna be. And this guy is your brother. Manuel Fernandez, un hombre, con gusto voy a cantarle. Get put on the kingpin list. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell. So you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza. Subanse a la suburban. Let's get this video on the road. What's up, guys? Another episode of Cartel Life. Chicago edition. You know what it is. You know what's up. <laughs> the kingpin list. It's a list that you don't want to be on because this allows the Department of Treasure... The one that controls all the money in America to freeze your accounts. Pretty much, they take your money, your land, whatever you have. And you know for damn sure that a lot of these big cartel members have properties over here in the United States. Uh, businesses, restaurants. So they eliminate the money. This helps the U.S. take down organizations across the world. Yeah, they don't play. They want that money. We are talking about El Chapo's most trusted, trusted. When Chapo's long run as head of Mexico's most profitable and ruthless cartel came crashing to an end in a gunfight three years ago, things also went sideways for this woman, his money manager, cash queen, CFO, Guadalupe Fernandez Valencia, known as La Patrona, the patron or special guardian of Chapo's drug-induced billions. Valencia was among the highest-ranked female drug executives of any Mexican cartel. Now, at age 58, she too is looking at a lengthy prison sentence, just like her once strongman boss, El Chapo. La Patrona. Fucking badass. When El Chapo is your boss and La Puerca is your brother, you have no choice than to be fucking hardcore. <laughs> She's a 58-year-old Mexican national and was arrested in Mexico and now he's being extradited back to Chicago. Accused a ton of drugs and laundering money. She oversaw the whole operation, El Chapo's billion dollar empire. She oversaw everything. I wonder when you're like seeing so much money like that, if you're like, hey, I'm gonna take this little bundle of 100 grand and nobody's gonna miss it. They do chop heads off for less. No, thank you. She was the highest ranking female in the Sinaloa cartel. So that tells you right there, the trust, everything. She was so trusted that she actually got to work with his sons. And you know how El Chapo was about his sons. He was always very, very, you know, protective of who was around them. And for her to be working directly with him, that means that she had the juice. She had just did 10 years in the American prisons. She had just did 10 years and decided to move back, you know, and get, get back to work. Her brother serving 27 years, uh, same charges. He was part of the first wave when they arrest Chapo. All these dudes, the twins, they arrest, that was the first wave, you know, and the second wave came La Patrona, uh, El Chapo's wife, and the whole, and the waves keep coming, you know what I mean? There'll be waves for a couple of years down to the last person that got a phone call or, or did something or was at the wrong time or wrong place. So pretty much the last wave, the smallest people too, boom. And they'll be handing out life sentences like uh, bubble gum to the smaller people. The bigger people for some reason get smaller sentences. 27 years, 20 years, you know, stuff like working in these organizations where you don't have your W-2 form, you don't have protection. There's a lot of things that, like I, I've always told you guys in the past, it's like, it's not 
what it's all cut out to be. It, it's really not. Eventually, you have to pay for the decisions that you've made and the conversations that you've had and all the stuff that you've, you've done. And I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. And that's where uh, my biggest change came because I used to always say that the, the system was fraught. That the system was made up for me to fail, the system this and that. And, you know, I did this, this, this study. So, my whole life, I made dumb decisions. I hung around with the wrong people. I broke the law. And I spent most of my life incarcerated. 17 years. Turn the hands of time forward and I'm out now. I waited to get my license. Um, didn't drive when I couldn't. Insurance. The things that you're supposed to do, pretty much. Did everything to the T. For the first time in my life, I got off of probation since I've been 14. First time in my life. So that's just gotta tell you something that when you do what's right, I mean, I'm not saying that your life will be perfect, but your life does get better. And I'm just, I'm talking to those guys like me that just kept breaking and breaking the law and thinking that it was okay or it was a way of life or that, you know, poor me, Nah, nah, it's, it's not that, it's you, it's your, it's your decisions, your choices, who you hang around with, and what you're doing. You see, these people, yes, they made billions and billions of dollars, but what good is it now? Chapo's gone for life. He's going to be sitting there, you know what I mean? His, obviously his sons are running the Sinaloa Cartel now. It's only a matter of time. There's the, the thing that I think that people don't see is that there's hundreds of people ready to take your position and, and, and lead to the same way. And that's crazy to me. That means you're just standing in line to make a bunch of money right here, but then standing in line to go to prison for life here. And it just starts moving on. Or death. Nah, I'm good. I rather, you, see, you heard that little Wayne song, I'd rather be selling roses and taking showers with, with, with dudes, you know what I mean? Like, fuck that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Do what's right. Educate yourself. Remember, we live in a time now where education is free and you can look up everything and you can, you can teach yourself everything. My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. Hey. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, you only have one life to live. If you live it right, one life is all you need. Stay out here, stay sober, don't sell drugs, don't gang bang, don't hang around with the wrong people, stay in school, educate yourself, do something, man, do something. I dare you. Catch you guys on the rebound.